I had a rather odd experience the other day. I was waiting for the bus. This was just a few hours after I got off the plane from Indonesia back home to Sweden. As I was waiting for the bus, there was a huge crowd standing there, a lot of people waiting for the buses and trams that were supposed to arrive. And there was something odd about this crowd. You see, everybody in this rather large crowd of people were white. Now, it's entirely usual that a lot of people wait around at the bus station, but why were all of them white? I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Well, yeah, it took me about one second to realize that, well, yeah, I'm back in Sweden now. It's rather usual around here to be white. Most people are. There's a vast majority of the people of in this country who are white. So there's really nothing unusual about that. I would guess that if you live in Europe or USA, this would not be your answer. I mean, your answer would not be that, well, it's rather common to be white in Europe. I think your answer is rather, okay, why is this guy talking about this thing? What is his agenda? And that might be a rather <laughs> reasonable <laughs> way of looking at it. Rather common one anyway. But I didn't really have any special reason to think that way, except for how the human brain work. And that's why I bring it up. We humans categorize people and phenomena based on what we're expecting. And these expectations they can be built on social norms and ideologies and instincts and so on, but to a large extent they are based on what we are familiar with, what is usual to us. For half a year I have never encountered a crowd of people where more than 15% were white. Well, actually that happened once wasn't that much of a majority, but it was a white majority. This was in a special nightclub at Bali, some kind of tourist preserve. It was not a normal place, it was not a part of regular society. So when I again encounter a crowd of white people, it's like, okay, what's going on here? It must be something special, right? And of course it wasn't. Since that day, this, has, this has not happened again to me. I have been in several crowds of various kinds, where everybody has been white, but I haven't noticed, except when I recall this memory and compare my own reaction. The human brain is not unbiased. What each of us human beings has to keep in mind is that the world do not revolve around us, and the people around us do not revolve around us. Our personal experiences have very little impact when it comes to how the world actually is and how the people around us actually are, but our experiences do have a tremendous impact on how we interpret the world and how we see the people around us. In order to move away from stereotypes and towards a more nuanced understanding, we need to compare experiences with each other, but not least with ourselves.